Imagine for a moment that the most powerful tool for conquering procrastination isn't an app, a productivity hack, or the latest time management technique. What if it's already within you, waiting to be discovered and harnessed? This isn't just a thought experiment. It's a reality grounded in the wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that has guided countless individuals through the ages toward living with purpose, resilience, and tranquility. Procrastination, that insidious habit of delaying important tasks, is a struggle we've all faced. It's the silent thief of time, the saboteur of our goals, and often the source of our deepest regrets. But what if I told you that Stoicism offers a profound antidote to this universal challenge? Stoicism teaches us that the key to overcoming procrastination isn't found in external tools or tricks, but in mastering our minds and aligning our actions with our deepest values. It's a powerful reminder that despite the distractions and temptations of the modern world, we hold within us the unshakable foundation for productivity, purpose, and peace of mind. Today, we're peeling back the layers of procrastination, uncovering its root causes, and exploring how timeless stoic principles can transform how we approach our tasks, time, and ultimately, our lives. This journey is about more than just getting things done. It's about rediscovering our inherent power to act with intention and live in alignment with our highest selves. So, if you're ready to break free from the chains of procrastination and unlock the doors to personal freedom, productivity, and fulfillment, you're in the right place. Let's embark on this adventure together, exploring how the wisdom of Stoicism can illuminate the path to a life of purposeful action and achievement. The only thing I ask of you is not to skip this video in any way. If you're here, consider yourself different from the majority. Consider yourself an exception. Now, act like one and don't skip any part of the content. Your journey to mastering procrastination through Stoic wisdom begins now. Relevant Stoic Principles Stoicism's heart lies in a profound understanding of human nature and our relationship with the world around us. To truly grasp how this ancient philosophy can help us overcome procrastination, we must first understand some of its core principles. First and foremost, Stoicism teaches us about the dichotomy of control. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, wisely said, Some things are within our power while others are not. This simple yet powerful idea is the cornerstone of Stoic thought. When it comes to procrastination, understanding what's within our control is crucial. We may not have control over external deadlines, the complexity of a task, or the distractions around us. Still, we have absolute control over our thoughts, judgments and actions in response to these circumstances. Consider for a moment, how often do we delay tasks because we feel overwhelmed by factors beyond our control? The Stoic approach invites us to shift our focus. Instead of fixating on the enormity of a project or the potential for failure, we're encouraged to concentrate on what we can control, our effort, our attitude, and our commitment to taking action, however small. Another key Stoic principle relevant to overcoming procrastination is the importance of virtuous action. The Stoics believed that living a good life meant living by virtue, primarily wisdom, justice, courage, and self-control. Procrastination, in many ways, is a failure of self-control, a momentary lapse in our commitment to wisdom and courage. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher-emperor, reminds us you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This strength he speaks of is the power to choose virtuous action over momentary comfort or distraction. When we procrastinate, we often choose short-term pleasure or avoidance over the long-term satisfaction of living up to our potential and values. The stoic emphasis on the present moment is another powerful antidote to procrastination. 
Seneca, another great Stoic thinker, warned, We are not given a short life, but we make it short, and we are not ill-supplied, but wasteful of it. Procrastination is, in essence, a denial of the present moment, a pushing off of what could and should be done now into an imagined future. We rob procrastination of its power by focusing on the present and fully inhabiting each moment. The Stoics teach us that this moment, right now, is all we truly have. The past is gone and the future is uncertain, but now the present is our power. It's where all action, all change, all progress occurs. Lastly, let's consider the Stoic practice of negative visualization, or premeditatio malorum, as they called it. This involves imagining worst-case scenarios, not to induce anxiety, but to prepare ourselves mentally and emotionally for challenges. How does this relate to procrastination? Often, we put off tasks because we're afraid of failure, imperfection, or discomfort. By visualizing these potential outcomes, acknowledging them and realizing we can handle them, we remove much of procrastination's emotional fuel. Imagine the worst that could happen if you tackle that daunting task right now. Perhaps you might struggle, maybe even fail at first. But as Epictetus reassures us, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. The Stoics remind us that temporary discomfort or failure is acceptable and often necessary for growth and ultimate success. These Stoic principles, focusing on what we can control, committing to virtuous action, living in the present moment, and preparing ourselves for challenges, form a powerful framework for addressing procrastination. They shift our perspective from avoidance and fear to acceptance and action. As we internalize these principles, we see procrastination not as an unconquerable foe, but as an opportunity to practice wisdom, exercise courage, and strengthen our self-control. Every moment we choose action over delay, purpose over distraction. We're not just completing tasks. We're building character, living our values, and moving closer to our highest potential. In the next section, we'll explore how to translate these profound stoic insights into practical techniques for overcoming procrastination in our daily lives. Remember, the goal isn't just to be more productive, it's to live more fully, more intentionally, and more in alignment with our true selves. The stoics have handed us the tools. Let's learn how to wield them. Practical Stoic Techniques to Combat Procrastination now that we've laid the philosophical groundwork, let's dive into practical Stoic techniques you can apply today to overcome procrastination. These aren't just productivity hacks. They're time-tested methods for aligning your actions with your values and living with greater purpose and effectiveness. 1. Breaking tasks into smaller, manageable parts. The Stoics understood the power of incremental progress. Seneca advised, divide each difficulty into as many parts as is feasible and necessary to resolve it. This approach is particularly effective when facing tasks that seem overwhelming. When you find yourself procrastinating on a large project, take a moment to break it down into smaller, more manageable parts. Instead of thinking, I need to write a 20-page report, reframe it as, I'll start by creating an outline, or I'll write the introduction today. This technique aligns with the stoic focus on what's within our control. While the entire project might seem daunting, that first small step is entirely within your power to take. Each small task completed builds momentum and confidence, making the next step easier to tackle. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius said, you must build up your life action by action and be content if each one achieves its goal as far as possible, and no one can keep you from this. Embrace the power of small, consistent actions. 2. Practicing negative visualization to reduce task anxiety. The stoic practice of negative visualization can be a powerful tool against procrastination. Often, we delay tasks because we're anxious about potential negative outcomes, 
By facing these fears head on, we can reduce their power over us. Take a moment to visualize the worst case scenario if you tackle the task you've been avoiding. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe you'll struggle. Perhaps the outcome won't be perfect. Now, ask yourself, can I handle that? The answer is almost always yes. Epictetus reminds us, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By mentally preparing for challenges, you strengthen your resilience and reduce the anxiety that feeds procrastination. This practice also helps us maintain perspective. The consequences of procrastination are often far worse than any outcome we're afraid of. By comparing our imagined worst-case scenario with the genuine negative consequences of continued delay, we can find the motivation to act. 3. Using Memento Mori to create urgency. Memento Mori, remember you must die, might seem like a morbid concept, but the Stoics used it as a powerful motivator. This principle reminds us of the finite nature of our time and the importance of making the most of each moment. Marcus Aurelius urged, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. When you feel the pull of procrastination, remind yourself of the preciousness of time. Ask yourself, if this were my last day, would I spend it scrolling through social media? Or would I tackle that important project I've been putting off? This isn't about inducing anxiety, but creating a sense of purpose and urgency. It's about recognizing the value of our time and choosing to use it in alignment with our deepest values and goals. 4. Practicing Mindfulness and Present Moment Awareness Stoicism emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment. Procrastination often involves either dwelling on past failures or anxiously anticipating future challenges. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we can break this cycle. When you notice yourself procrastinating, pause and take a few deep breaths. Bring your attention to the present moment. What can you do right now, at this very moment, to move forward? Even if it's just opening the document you need to work on or writing the first sentence, focus on that immediate action. Marcus Aurelius advised, confine yourself to the present. By fully engaging with the task and bringing our full attention to the present moment, we can overcome the mental resistance that leads to procrastination. 5. Reflecting on your values and long-term goals. The Stoics placed great emphasis on living by one's values. When we procrastinate, we often act against our deeply held principles and long-term goals. Take time to reflect on why the task you're avoiding is essential. How does it align with your values? How will completing it contribute to your long-term goals? We can find deeper motivation and purpose by connecting our actions to our core values. Epictetus said, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Regularly reminding ourselves of our aspirations and values creates a powerful counterforce to procrastination. 6. Practicing self-compassion. While the Stoics advocated for discipline and virtue, they also understood the importance of self-compassion. Procrastination often involves a cycle of delay, self-criticism, and further delay. Breaking this cycle requires treating ourselves with kindness and understanding. When you procrastinate, resist the urge to engage in harsh self-criticism. Instead, approach yourself with the same understanding and encouragement you would offer a good friend. Recognize that procrastination is a common human struggle not a personal failure. As Seneca advised, we are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. Often our self-criticism is far harsher than any external judgment. By practicing self-compassion, we create a supportive internal environment that makes it easier to take action. Implementing these stoic techniques requires practice and patience. Remember, the goal isn't perfection, but progress. Each time you choose action over procrastination, you're not just completing a task. 
You're building character, strengthening your will, and moving closer to living a life of purpose and virtue. In the words of Epictetus, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Let your actions and choices in each moment be a living embodiment of Stoic wisdom. As you apply these techniques, you'll find that overcoming procrastination becomes not just about getting things done, but about living a more intentional, purposeful, and fulfilling life. Addressing Common Misconceptions About Procrastination and Productivity As we delve deeper into the Stoic approach to overcoming procrastination, we must address common misconceptions that often hinder our progress. These misunderstandings can cloud our judgment and lead us astray from the path of productive, purposeful living. 1. Misconception Procrastination is laziness one of the most pervasive myths about procrastination is that it's simply a form of laziness. This couldn't be further from the truth. Procrastination is a complex behavior often rooted in fear, perfectionism, or overwhelm, not a character flaw or moral failing. The Stoic perspective encourages us to look deeper. As Epictetus said, the appearance of things to the mind is the standard of every action to man. Our procrastination often results from how we perceive a task or its potential outcomes. By recognizing this, we can change our relationship with the tasks we avoid. 2. Misconception Productivity means constant busyness. In our fast-paced world, there's a common belief that being productive means being constantly busy. However, the Stoics argue that true productivity is about meaningful action that is aligned with our values, not ceaseless activity. Seneca warned, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Sometimes our pursuit of productivity can become a form of procrastination, keeping us busy with minor tasks while avoiding important work. The Stoic approach to productivity is about quality over quantity. It's about choosing our actions wisely, focusing on what truly matters, and finding the courage to say no to distractions, even if they come disguised as productivity. 3. Misconception Motivation always precedes action. Many of us fall into the trap of waiting for motivation to strike before we take action. We think we need to feel inspired or energized to start a task. However, the Stoics would argue that action often precedes motivation. As Marcus Aurelius advised, you must build up your life action by action and be content if each one achieves its goal as far as possible, and no one can keep you from this. We generate momentum by taking small, consistent actions, and motivation follows. 4. Misconception Procrastination is about time management. While better time management can certainly help combat procrastination, it's not the root of the problem. Procrastination is often more about emotion management than time management. The Stoics understood that our emotions and judgments drive our actions. Epictetus taught, it's not things that upset us, but our judgments about things. When we procrastinate, it's often because we've negatively judged the task or our ability to complete it. We can address procrastination at its source by focusing on managing our perceptions and emotional responses, rather than just trying to squeeze more into our schedules. 5. Misconception. Perfection is the goal. Perfectionism is a common culprit behind procrastination. We delay starting or finishing tasks because we fear the result won't be perfect. However, the Stoics remind us that perfection is an impossible standard. As Epictetus wisely said, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Pursuing excellence is noble, but the demand for perfection can be paralyzing. The Stoic approach encourages us to focus on progress and learning, rather than an unattainable ideal of perfection we can develop a more balanced, realistic approach to productivity and procrastination by challenging these misconceptions. 
The Stoic Way is not about becoming a productivity machine, but about living intentionally, making wise choices about spending our time and energy, and continually striving to align our actions with our values. Real-life examples and scenarios Let's explore real-life scenarios to understand how Stoic principles can help us overcome procrastination. These examples will illustrate how we can apply Stoic wisdom to common situations where procrastination often rears its head. Scenario 1. The Overwhelming Project Imagine you have a large, complex project at work. Its sheer size makes you paralyzed and you find yourself procrastinating, unsure where to begin. Stoic Approach Remember the principle of breaking tasks into smaller, manageable parts. Instead of focusing on the entire project, identify one small task you can do right now. Perhaps it's creating an outline or researching one aspect of the project. As Marcus Aurelius advised, do not be overwhelmed by what you still have to do. Instead, say to yourself, I will accomplish this task too, in its proper order, one thing at a time. You progress and build momentum by focusing on one step at a time. Scenario 2. The Fear of Failure You've been putting off starting your own business because you're afraid of failure. The fear of potential setbacks or criticism keeps you from taking the first step. Stoic Approach This is where negative visualization can be powerful. Imagine the worst-case scenario. What if your business does fail? Can you handle that outcome? Most likely, you'll realize that even the worst-case scenario is manageable. Moreover, consider Seneca's words, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Often the anxiety of anticipation is worse than any real consequences. By facing your fears head-on, you rob them of their power. Remember also the stoic emphasis on virtue over outcomes. Your worth isn't determined by the successes or failure of your business, but by your character and the effort you put in. Scenario 3. The Distraction of Social Media You sit down to work on an important task, but find yourself habitually reaching for your phone, scrolling through social media instead of focusing on your work. Stoic Approach this scenario calls for practicing mindfulness and present moment awareness. When you notice the urge to check your phone, pause. Take a deep breath and bring your attention to the present moment. Ask yourself, as Marcus Aurelius might, is this the best use of my time right now? Is this action aligned with my values and goals? You reclaim time and focus by consciously choosing how to spend each moment. Scenario 4 the mundane but necessary task. You've been putting off filing your taxes or organizing your finances. It's not a task you enjoy, but it's necessary. Stoic approach. This is an opportunity to practice virtue and duty. The Stoics believed in doing what's right, not just what's enjoyable. Epictetus taught, do not seek for things to happen as you wish but wish for things to happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. Reframe the task not as a burden, but as an opportunity to practice self-discipline and responsibility. Focus on the sense of accomplishment and peace of mind you'll feel once it's done. Scenario 5. The Perfectionist's Dilemma You're working on a creative project, but keep delaying finishing it because it doesn't feel perfect yet. Stoic Approach Remember, the Stoics valued progress over perfection. As Epictetus said, if you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Even if it's imperfect, the courage to put your work out there is more valuable than endless tweaking. Consider also the concept of memento mori. If your time were limited, and it is, would you spend it endlessly refining this project? Or would you finish it and move on to other meaningful work? By applying Stoic principles to these real-life scenarios, 
We can see how this ancient philosophy provides practical tools for overcoming procrastination in our modern lives. The key is consistently practicing these approaches, turning them from abstract concepts into lived experiences. Reflective Questions As we near the end of our exploration of Stoicism and procrastination, it's time to turn inward and apply these principles to our own lives. Reflection is crucial to the Stoic practice, allowing us to examine our thoughts, behaviors, and progress. Here are some reflective questions to consider. 1. What task or project am I currently procrastinating on? What fears or judgments might be driving this procrastination? 2. How can I break this task into smaller, more manageable parts? What's one small step I can take right now? 3. If I imagine the worst-case scenario of tackling this task, what is it? How prepared am I to handle that outcome? 4. How does completing this task align with my values and long-term goals? How will I feel once it's done? 5. In what ways have I been seeking perfection instead of progress? How can I shift this mindset? 6. How often do I bring my full attention to the present moment? How can I increase my mindfulness throughout the day? 7. In what areas of my life have I been acting like I have unlimited time? How might embracing memento mori change my priorities? Take a moment to journal about these questions. The act of writing can help clarify your thoughts and solidify your intentions. Now, let's move from reflection to action. The Stoics believe that philosophy should be lived, not just contemplated. As Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Here's what you need to do. 1. Choose one task you've been procrastinating on. Commit to taking one small step towards completing it today. Remember, the size of the step doesn't matter. What matters is breaking the cycle of procrastination. 2. Practice negative visualization. Spend five minutes imagining the worst-case scenario if you tackle this task. Then, imagine how you would handle that scenario. Let this exercise empower you to take action despite your fears. 3. Set up a daily reminder to practice mindfulness. Whether it's a sticky note on your desk or an alarm on your phone, create a cue to bring your attention to the present moment throughout the day. 4. Share your commitment with someone. The Stoics valued community and accountability. Tell a friend or family member about your intention to overcome procrastination using these Stoic principles. 5. Reflect on your actions at the end of this week's day. Where did you choose purposeful action over procrastination? Where did you struggle? Use these reflections not for harsh self-judgment, but as valuable data to inform your future choices. Remember, Overcoming procrastination is not about achieving perfection. It's about consistent progress, aligning your actions with your values, and living each day with intention and purpose. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Your power lies in your choices in each moment to act despite discomfort, to pursue what's essential despite distractions. The wisdom of Stoicism offers us timeless tools to overcome procrastination and live more fully. But knowledge alone is not enough. It's in the application, in the daily choice to embody these principles, that true transformation occurs. So, I challenge you. 1. Take what you've learned here and put it into practice. 2. Start small, but start today. 3. Choose action over delay, purpose over distraction, and growth over comfort. In doing so, you're not just overcoming procrastination, you're cultivating resilience, building character, and moving closer to living your most fulfilling life. The power to change your relationship with procrastination lies within you. It always has. Now, armed with the wisdom of the Stoics, you have the tools to unlock that power. The journey begins with a single step.
take it now. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of stoicism and procrastination. If you found value in this video, please like and share it with others who might benefit from it. Remember, in the words of Seneca, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. By preparing yourself with these stoic tools, you're creating opportunities for success in every area of your life. As we draw our journey to a close, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound wisdom Stoicism offers in our battle against procrastination. We've explored how focusing on what's within our control, committing to virtuous action, living in the present moment, and preparing for challenges can transform our relationship with time and tasks. Remember, overcoming procrastination isn't just about ticking items off a to-do list. It's about aligning our actions with our values, living with intention, and making the most of our precious time. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Now, I invite you to take action. Please choose one of the stoic techniques we've discussed today and commit to applying it in your life this week. Perhaps you'll break down a daunting task into smaller parts or practice negative visualization to overcome task anxiety. Maybe you'll use memento mori to create a sense of urgency or focus on aligning your actions with your long-term goals. You approach any technique with the stoic virtues of wisdom, justice, courage, and self-control. Remember, progress, not perfection, is the goal. Each time you choose action over procrastination, you're not just completing a task, but building character and moving closer to your highest self. As Epictetus said, don't explain your philosophy, embody it. Let your actions speak louder than words. Show the world and yourself what you're capable of when you harness the power of stoic wisdom. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. The principles of Stoicism have guided countless individuals through the ages, and they continue to offer timeless wisdom for our modern challenges. You're part of a community stretching back thousands of years. Individuals committed to living with purpose, virtue, and resilience. So, dear friend, what will you do with this moment? How will you honor the time you've been given? The choice, as always, is yours. But know this, you have within you everything you need to overcome procrastination and live a life of purpose and achievement. As we part ways today, I leave you with these words from Seneca. Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. May you seize each day, each moment, with the wisdom and courage of the Stoics. If you've found value in today's discussion, I invite you to join our growing community of modern Stoics. Here at the Stoic community, we're dedicated to exploring how ancient wisdom can transform our lives in the modern world. Remember to like this video if you found it helpful and share it with anyone you think might benefit from these Stoic insights on overcoming procrastination. Your support helps us reach more people with this transformative philosophy. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Stoic Community Channel. We release new videos every week, diving deep into Stoic principles and how to apply them in our daily lives. Whether you're dealing with anxiety, seeking greater purpose, or simply looking to live with more wisdom and resilience, we've got you covered. In our next video, we'll explore the Stoic approach to dealing with selfish people, another challenge we all face in our modern lives. You won't want to miss it, so hit that notification bell to stay updated. Remember, in the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Until next time, live with virtue, act purposefully, and may stoic wisdom guide your path.